All right, today we're going to be taking a look at Haley's Bible Handbook. Um, this is actually the deluxe edition uh, of Haley's Bible Handbook, and it was written by Hay Henry H. Haley. Um, take a look at it here real quick. Got a pretty nice cover, cover and design. Um, as you can see here, the, the pages are, are color-coded, um, and we'll get into that a little bit here in a moment. Um, but you may be asking why, why the rainbow colors here on the pages here on the ends, but I'll let you know that here in just a moment. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, uh, I'm not going to leave you hanging in suspense. This is an excellent book. I highly, highly recommend this book. Um, it, it's just a great book, and you'll see why. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into it here real quick. Um, Haley actually started this. The whole idea for this book was he, he felt churches and individuals needed to be more in, in, in Bible study. Um, so he actually wrote a 16-page uh, pamphlet and it was handing it out to churches and to pastors and, and to individuals themselves to uh, assist them and guide them in their Bible study. And it has just blown up into this into this Bible. And this is the deluxe edition. And just to give you an idea, I'll show you. I have, uh, I believe this is the third edition of Haley's Bible Handbook. I'm pretty sure this is the third edition. And uh, there's Mr. Haley there. And uh, I, I, I mean, I've, you'll see all the stains on this book. I've, I've worn this book out. Um, but you'll see the difference. It's mostly black and white here. It's all black and white in this older version of this book. Um, and you'll see like these little color, little color map here in the back. But this is the old, old version, um, which I've just worn out because it's such a great book. Now you're going to see the difference. We get into the deluxe edition here. Um, it's still all the same text from the older edition, um, but they've they've really put in a lot of color in this book. Uh, we'll get here. Um, see, here it says to the heart. The heart of the Bible. Um, it's going to give a note to the reader, the heart of the Bible, a habit of Bible reading, going to church as an act of worship, notable sayings about the Bible. And as you'll see, each one is color-coded. So what that represents is the note of the reader is kind of this orangish yellow color here. Note to the reader. And you can see the orangish color here. Um, if you want to get uh, notable sayings about the Bible, you're just going to go here to the first purple that you see here, which is going to be right here, and you can see the purple. Um, so that's kind of what that is. It's kind of an index, uh, kind of a color index system that they've got. That's very, actually very helpful. And I'll show you some more examples here in a moment. Um, but then we get to the Bible background. What is the Bible? How's the Bible organized? What's the Bible all about? Um, he gives so much more information than just the Bible itself. I mean, he wants you to be well informed about um, everything about the Bible, not just the contents that are found therein. Um, so we get into that a little bit. Um, I mean, he's he makes sure that you have everything that you need. Old Testament, New Testament, all the books. He talks about the Old Testament and the New Testament. Um, what the Bible's all about, the Old Testament, the conquest of the settlements, the exodus from Egypt. I mean... Everything, 400 years between the Testaments, and, and he gets more in-depth into the study, things like that. Um, the main thought of each book, he just kind of gives it in, a, in like a sentence form, like Joshua, the conquest of Canaan. Um, let's go down here, Proverbs, uh, the wisdom of Solomon, um, Jonah, an errand of mercy at uh, Nineveh. But I mean, just throughout this whole, look, just flipping right over, I mean, look at all the pictures. And how he's even got in the beginning, God created. He's got shows it in T in Hebrew um, text without the vowel points and Hebrew text with the vowel points. Um, I mean, he, <laughs> look at this. Every page, nearly every page of this book, not every page, but nearly every page of this book, you're going to come to some sort of photograph of an archaeological find that confirms the Bible, um, or or geographical location, or or I mean, look at this. Every just about every page. Um, and then we get into uh, so like the Old Testament, okay? Uh, let's look at our let's look at our uh, color color coding. Um, so we'll go um, prophets. You see, it's all in green. All right. So you know it's going to be a pretty thick section. So see this? See the green here? That's going to be the book of the prophets. So we'll just right open it up to the green, and we're in the book of the prophets. All right. We're, here's Daniel. Um, and look at this. All right. All these kind of yellow boxes. These are just kind of doctrinal footnotes, little essays that Mr. Haley wrote. Um, the miracles in the book of Daniel, he speaks about it. Um, time periods in the book of Daniel, and he speaks about it. You'll find that throughout. I mean, 
There is no lack of information in this book. This is one of my favorite, favorite books. I use this book all the time. Just about every page you go to, you're going to have maps or something. Um, let's jump ahead here. See, I mean, look at all the doctrinal footnotes, essays that he gives throughout. Um, this one's the Old Testament prophecies of Christ quoted in the Gospels, and it gives you all of them. I mean, it's this guy has done his homework. It had to have taken most of his life to do this. I mean, it's impressive. Um, we're in Matthew here. Look, doctrinal footnote on angels, where they're talked about. Um, this is about every page. Pictures, doctrinal footnotes, just about every single page. Um, this is kind of uh, this is kind of how Mr. Haley does his his uh, kind of formatting here. Um, if you get to a section of the bi uh, of, of this book, in, 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 or the Bible, when you come into this handbook to look at it up, say so, like Matthew eight one through four. If he has spoken, you know, many times, in the, especially the four Gospels, um, the same story won't be in every gospel but if it is he'll leave if he's already wrote about it in another gospel he'll send you there so um, a leper healed see on mark 1 chapter 1 40 through 44 okay so we'll go over to mark chapter 1 verse 40 40 through 45 a leper cleansed right there so it leads you. It may lead you to another gospel um, where he's already wrote about a particular uh, story, um, but it helps keep the book at a smaller size instead of telling the same story over and over again throughout everywhere it's found. Um, see, Capernaum synagogues in the house of Peter, and and he goes in here about this whole dissertation about it. Um, Mr. Haley does not hit on every single verse in the Bible um, individually, but he does in the sense of um, he he talks about chapters. He'll get into verses, verses individually, but he also talks about chapters um, and sometimes half chapters. You'll see, okay, so uh, Mark 1, 40 through 45. So he's going to tell you in this paragraph here about Mark 1, 40 through 45. And then we get Mark 2, 1 through 12. And he'll give a header. He'll always give a header as to what it is you're reading about, what it is that those verses are about. Um, so we'll come over here. Mark chapter 2, verse 18 through 22, the quest about fasting. And he's got a lot to say about that. As you can see, it takes up most of the page. And then we'll get over here, eating grain on the Sabbath. Mark 20, Mark 2, chapter 23, um, verses 23 through 27. And he's, he's going to tell you about it. Um, so he'll, he'll go at length into some uh, doctrinal uh, issues and, and, and not so long on, on others. Um, but look, just about every page, you're going to come across these pictures. And, and it's always telling you what it is, what you're looking at. Doctrinal footnotes, how many were healed and where? He's going to tell you. Um, I just, I can't give this book enough praise. Um, the site of the crucifixion. He gives a little dissertation here. Um, which, as you can see, Mark 16, 1 through 8, the woman visits the tomb. He talks about it. So he doesn't hit on every single verse, but he, he, he does in a way, in the sense that it's, it's, it's all wrapped into... Um, and for instance, in this first, uh, in this first eight verses, it's all wrapped into those eight verses that he hits on. Tells you what it's about. Um, uh, Luke, every book has a short introduction. Um, it, it's usually a very short introduction, but it's okay because he goes at length throughout the whole book in, in the content in itself. Um, look, I'm just about every other page. Look, the glow of the supernatural. He's going to tell you about the glow of the supernatural, the virgin birth. He's going to talk to you about the virgin birth. Bethlehem, amazing providences of God. Look at the pictures. I mean, look at the maps. The region of Galatia. All right. Um, we're actually in the book of Galatia here. And he talks about Galatia and some doctoral footnotes. He gives you a map of the region of Galatia. Um, Galatian chapter 1, Paul's gospel direct from God. All right, and he goes into this whole spiel about it. And then see Galatians chapter 2, Paul's revelation to the other apostles. All right, and it's going to take up this whole page here on the left side and then even almost half the page on the right side. And then Galatians chapter 3 through 4, you know. He, he, look how much room that he used for, for Galatians chapter 2. And then he only uses this much space for Galatians 3 through 4, chapters 3 through 4, the bondage under the law. Um so, I mean, it's just, this is an awesome book. 
Um, this is one of the best books I've ever bought, actually. Um, but Ephesus, he's going to tell you all about Ephesus. Um, and then a letter to the Ephesians. And he gives you a map here. And uh, the direction, the, the route um, that the letter was sent from Rome when Paul wrote it to Ephesus. Um, so, I mean, it's just chock full of, chock full of stuff. I think he's, in the back, he's got all kinds of extra information. Um, let's get him back here a little bit towards the end. Um, Genesis and Revelation, um, the Bible is all one story. The last part of this book is the Bible reads like the close of the story begun in the first uh, part of the first book. So it gives you kind of comparisons between Genesis and Revelation. Genesis on the left, Revelation on the right. Just gives you all kinds of information. After the New Testament, a brief history of the Western Church, a brief history of the Holy Land and the Jews um, since the time of Christ. A brief history of the Western Church. And just, I mean, this is just crazy. Look at all this stuff. Look at all the pictures. Um, it's just a lot, so much information in here. Uh, the Western and Eastern Churches, and it kind of, Highlights them there for you and in the picture map But um, I know this video is going a little bit long, but there's just so much in this book to show It's just it's this is an excellent book you can see all the pictures you can see all the the things that they find um, Through archaeology that confirms the Bible and what the Bible said um, There's just a couple really great charts back here. I want to show you real quick and um, prayers you got prayers here, prayer for salvation, a blessing, a blessing. These are actual prayers in the Bible. Um, so you can go through and find all these prayers that are actually found in the Bible that biblical people used. Um, and supplemental materials, how we got the Bible, rediscovering the Bible past, the house of Herod, distant charts, and Jewish calendars. And, and the distant charts is what I was really wanting to show you. That's, that's pretty neat. I haven't seen that before. Um, what is this? This is, okay, you get some different examples of different translations of the Bible over here. Um, so they give you Job 36, 33. And then it shows you how each of these different versions kind of relate to that, how they kind of put it out on paper. So the NIV version, the KJV version, um, the NLT version. And then it gives all the apocryphal books over here and, and whatnot. But let me see here if I can I'll find that chart. It was pretty, pretty neat chart, the House of Herod. Here's, here's some of the charts. And this is actually a distance chart. Um, so like this is the New Testament, right? So like Bethlehem. If you want to know how far Bethlehem is away from, say, Jerusalem, you just come here, six miles. Bethlehem to Jerusalem, six miles away. Um, so they got several of those charts in here. The Old Testament, how, how it was set up in the Old Testament cities. New Testament, um, New Testament cities of Acts. Um, and it gives a little memoir to uh, Mr. Henry, Henry Haley, which is, which is actually a very fascinating read. Um, there he is there with what I believe is the first edition of his book he's holding. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this is an excellent book. I highly recommend this book. Uh, I, I just can't say enough about it. There, there's, there's no cons when it comes to this book. I, I haven't found any anyway. Um, so that's it. This is Haley's Bible Handbook Deluxe Edition. Thanks for watching. God bless.